when a narcissist realizes that it's game over with you they often double down on their behavior to alter their reality to suit themselves when you have finally had enough of the narcissist we often go back so many times before we recognize their pattern and recognize that they're just not going to change we have to sort of know within ourselves that we we tried everything we could think of and enough's enough now even if we could try something else it's, it's just enough it's gone too far so when we finally had enough of them but they've not had enough of you they double down on their behavior they can come at you and act like absolutely nothing at all has happened and you can keep explaining to them that this is it this is over i'm not interested and they keep coming back and keep reappearing like nothing has ever happened like nothing's wrong like you so desperately want them and need them like they're brilliant because it's not computing within their mind they're just thinking that you're the one that's going through things you're all the one that's got issues why on earth would you want to leave them they're amazing they're brilliant so they can just keep coming back at you like nothing ever happened they can go all out to make out that you're the problem if it wasn't for you, you're the one that's got mental health issues. You're the one that's ruined the relationship. You're the one to blame for everything that's going wrong, not only in your life, but also within their life. So they're going to go all out to find a way to blame you, shame you and humiliate you, accuse you of not being willing to be there for them, not being supportive of them, not helping them. And they will stand there quite brash and quite bright and claim after all they've done for you and you'll never find anyone like that you'll never find anyone that will put up with you like they did that you can't do any better than them because in their mind they are the best you're the one with the issue you're the one with the problem you're the one that can't see how good they were to you when you finally recognized how toxic they were to you and you've broken free they're going to go all out to spread false information about you, accuse you of being an addict, accuse you of having money problems, accuse you of being crazy, accuse you of having those mental issues. They're going to accuse you of being ungrateful. They're going to accuse you of being jealous and bitter. They're going to accuse you of being depressed and miserable. They're going to spread so many rumours about you so you might potentially try to straighten these rumors out with people often making you look crazier than the narcissist has already explained you are which is why when they're spreading rumors about you the best thing you can do is just stay out of it leave them all to it let them gossip they don't know you they're not living your life leave them to it it's very difficult because we want to defend ourselves we want to explain ourselves we don't want people to judge us in a manner that's not true however you're not going to win that game with a narcissist by explaining or defending you win by walking away because then the narcissist will turn on somebody else and they'll see for themselves when the time comes they might go all out to make you feel guilty how dare you leave them after all they've done for you they need you they can't believe you've done this to them how could you of all people walk out on them so they're going to go all out to guilt trip you into going back to them they can come at you with some sort of illness they've just plucked off the top of their head or an illness that is real but not real to them they haven't actually got that illness and you can be with them two or three years before you find out they never had that illness they're just wanting to pull you back in or or a family member or a child is ill to pull on your emotional empathy and get you back towards them they can go all out to love bomb you because in their mind why would anyone leave them they're great they're amazing they're not the problem you're the problem. You know, you just need a bit of attention. You just need a bit of attention or a bit of time. So I'll just send you some flowers. I'll just buy you a car. I'll book us a holiday. And you can keep explaining that it's over and they're just, it's not going in because they think they're amazing. So they can start love bombing you with those extravagant gifts again, those excessive gifts, those words of flattery. 
it's not compliments they're envious of you they don't want to compliment you however they'll flatter you to lull you back into their games they might just harass you now they might outright harass you however they might just harass you because they're acting like nothing's wrong because they're trying to guilt trip you or because they're love bombing you so they're constantly bombarding you with messages and with gifts and with letters and with emails so they might not be harassing you to a point where they're trying to hurt you as such at that point they might be harassing you just because they believe that you're wanting the attention that they want they're coming from the place they're coming from they want that attention they believe you just, you just need a bit of attention if i just give them a bit of attention they'll come running back or they might harass you to punish you to get one over on you to sink you to hurt you where they were just going to drain you, where they're going to keep changing plans on you, where they're going to do all they can to sabotage your life because they're feeling bitter that you're the one that's ended it with them and they want to accuse you of being the bitter one. They might start threatening you. They might start threatening your family, intimidating you to get you to submit and live life on their terms we've all cap we're all capable of doing things that perhaps we're not proud of and a narcissist will use those things against you to punish you where you might have the police saying to you you need to charge we need to charge this person we want to charge this person but we can't do it without your evidence we need you and you're thinking i don't want to do that they've just made a few mistakes i just want to i just want to go and live let them go and live a narcissist will be like making things up so that they can get you into trouble for things that you haven't done they will use any of your mistakes against you to threaten you to intimidate you to coercively control you and they will also do the play nice and you do have to be careful when a narcissist is playing nice as more often than not they've got something up their sleeve or they've already done something behind your back when they're playing nice they want to watch what they've done hurt you so they can feel smug they'll be being really nice to you but they'll be taking something away from you behind your back and they do tell on themselves so they might ask people and oh do you know how so and so is oh because this happened the other day so they're looking to watch your reaction for the things they've done to hurt and to punish you narcissistic people tend to dig down the the very often the very insecure people However, to mask this, they believe they're brilliant. They believe they're great. They don't get why anyone would dare to choose to leave them. And they often sink you so that you become codependent on them, so that you can't leave them, even though they are more often than not the one who is codependent on you. They need your supply. They need your supply of time. They need your supply of attention. They need an alibi from you. They need a flying monkey and an enabler. They need financial resources from you. They need something from you, yet they want to make you believe that you are the one who needs them because they're amazing and they don't make mistakes. Any mistakes they make, that's all your fault. If anyone has any thoughts on this video, please do add those into the comments for people reading through. Thank you very much to all the returning subscribers and your continued support with the channel. It's greatly appreciated. If you are new to the channel, I'm Elizabeth Shaw. This channel is all about narcissistic behaviour to give you more understanding of the people you might be dealing with within your life, how to handle yourself around those people if you cannot go no contact and different methods to find what works for you to help you understand and overcome narcissistic and emotional abuse. If you do find the information helpful on the channel, please do subscribe. If you are looking for the help and support in understanding and overcoming narcissistic and emotional abuse, I do have several online guides available and those teachable links are in the video description. If you're looking for someone to speak to, I have partnered with BetterHelp and their sponsored link is also in the video description. I do also have a book out which is 15 rules to do with narcissistic people. If you'd like to check that out, that will also be in the video description. Go out there and create the day that you deserve because you do deserve to have an amazing day. Bye.